comrades and feel with hope. Touching each and everyone, community and international partnerships. Ghana Communication Technology University. Knowledge comes from learning. Touching each and everyone together in harmony. Ghana Communication Technology University. Knowledge comes from learning. Hail Jesus, the center of excellence, taking a place in global developments. Ghana Communication Technology. University knowledge comes from learning. Electricity, the center of excellence, taking a place in global developments. Ghana Communication Technology University knowledge. Comes uh, sit down. Thank you. Yes, as it is in Ghana Communication Technology University, for every program or event, we start it with a word of prayer. On this note, I invite our school chaplain, Reverend Michael Owusu Tabiri, to lead us in an opening prayer. Thank you. Thank you. Please, shall we share a word of prayer? Ever gracious Father, we are grateful unto you for the gift of life. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. For preservation and protection, we say thank you. For your loving kindness towards us, our Father and our God, we say thank you. We bless your holy name for counting our precious ones to be part of this university, Ghana Communication Technology University. We pray that Holy Spirit have your own way. Let everything today be done to the glory and honor of your holy name. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Amen. Thank you so much, Mr. Michael Usu Tabiri. Uh, good morning again, one, uh, ladies and gentlemen. As you are aware, this is a very important event in the calendar of the university. I will crave your indulgence to the fact that you should remain seated and calm as our registrar comes to tell us the statement of purpose. Mr. Emmanuel Bedu. Thank you very much, Acting Director of University Relations. Good morning, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the management of the Ghana Communication Technology University, I once again welcome all of you to today's matriculation ceremony. We are gathered here this morning to matriculate undergraduate students who were admitted in May 2022 and have enrolled for courses leading to undergraduate degrees and diplomas at the Ghana Communication Technology University in the 2021-2022 academic year. It is worthy of note that the Ghana Communication Technology University admits two cohorts of students in each academic year, January and May. Thus, matriculation ceremony has therefore been organized for the 2022 cohort of freshmen admitted in May 2022. We shall confer on these new students membership of the Ghana Communication Technology University in line with Article 39 of the Ghana Communication Technology University Act 2020, Act, 20, Act 1022, which states that one, a student admitted to the university shall take the matriculation oath and sign the matriculation register 
as provided for in the statutes of the university. Two, a student who fails to sign the matriculation register shall be prevented by the university from graduating. This ceremony has been organized in three parts. During part one, we would hear an address from the Vice Chancellor, Professor Emmanuel Ohine Afuakwa. The Vice Chancellor will tell us the significance of the matriculation oath and what the university expects from its students. At part two, students will swear the matriculation oath to be administered by the registrar of the university. The oath can be found printed on page three of the order of proceedings. You will repeat the words of the oath after me when it is time for the oath. After the oath, one representative of the students will tell us the expectations of the 2021-2022 cohort of students and cere ceremonially sign the matricula. The matricula is a Latin word for register. During the third part of the ceremony, which takes place after the representative of the student has signed the matricula, each student will sign the matriculation oath on the third page of the order of proceedings after providing the required information and submit it to the ushers. The signed matriculation oath will be put on the file of each student at the Academic Affairs Directorate. That is to the record that indeed you are a bona fide member of this university. Mr. Vice Chancellor, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I wish to congratulate all colleagues at all levels for the roles they have played in the process of getting students admitted, registered, and re ready for matriculation. 2022 May matriculation class. I look forward to seeing positive engagements in the university activities throughout your stay in the university. On that note, let me welcome you all once again to the Ghana Communication Technology University. It is now time to call on the Vice Chancellor, Professor Emmanuel Ohina Fuakwa, to deliver his address. Thank you very much. Deans, directors, heads of departments, heads of units, members of convocation, students, fresh students, the media, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the council, management, faculty, and staff, and current students of the Ghana Communication Technology University, I welcome you all to Ghana's premier ICT institution. Congratulations to you all for the excellent choice that you have made. You are now a part of an institution, institution that strives for excellence in all areas of research and teaching. An institution that has been at the forefront of ICT education since its establishment. Today is a special day for you, your families, guardians, and we share in your joy and your glory. For most of you, one long journey has ended and another even more interesting journey is just about to begin. Again, we welcome you with open arms into the GCTU fraternity. As the newest members of the university community, you are our pride and our joy. Education is not just about the acquisition of knowledge, but it engenders honesty, respect, equality, and compassion. Knowledge, therefore, is awareness of knowing about the what, why, when, where, and how of everything that you do. It is power, both intellectually and physically. In GCTU, technology is embedded in all aspects of our teaching and learning, which makes our quest for knowledge more interactive, more easy, and more fun for our students. We use emails, course-based websites, computer-based chat rooms, and various learning systems and other technology-enabled resources that are available within the university to do 
our, co our courses with a teaching and interaction with our students. And that's exactly what you are going to be using. So as you may be aware, technology is embedded, totally embedded in all aspects of our teaching. And you are required to use that as a process of learning, even if you are not an IT or a computer science, computer engineering student. You are all expected to be adequately prepared to utilize the adequate resources to acquaint yourselves with technology of the modern world in the era of digitization and digitalization, especially in Ghana. This institution will empower you to continue to search for knowledge through constant learning and innovation. Note that the matriculation oath, which will be administered to you shortly today, will confer on you the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of studentship in this great university. It will also commit you to abide by the rules and regulations governing your studentship on this campus. By this oath, you will take up yourself the responsibility to uphold the name of the university in everything that you do, both on and off campus, through your own varied achievements to bring your school further honor and fame. Today, be ready to accept the challenge that comes with a pursuit of knowledge and once again, you are welcome to GCTU. On our admissions, as you heard from the registrar, we recruit students into the university in January and in May. Before the COVID era, we used to recruit in September and in January. And as we are aware, the COVID has pushed all academic programs within all institutions in Ghana to start the academic year from January instead of September. In that regard, we have admitted a total of 2,366 students, not admitted, but at enrolled and registered because we admitted more than 2,600 students and we have enrolled and registered 2,366 students. And I must say that this is the largest number of students that we have admitted in one year in this institution. In January, we enrolled and registered 2,166 students, and in this May, which is a minor recruitment season, we have admitted and registered 220 students. Verification of entry qualification. I wish to bring to your attention the importance of honesty and integrity in our institution. GCTU frowns on dishonest conduct, and in this regard, the university will verify all results submitted at the entry level. Our university prides itself on integrity, excellence, and academic freedom as key core values that guide us in principle and in life. I will also encourage all students to learn hard to write exams that will be devoid of malpractice and dishonesty. Attainment of a public university status. I'm glad to inform you that a Ghana Technology University College, that used to be the name of this university, so it's now LSY, has now been converted into Ghana Communication Technology University as a result of the passage of the Ghana Communication Technology University Act 2020, Act 1022, which converted the institution into a fully-fledged public university by parliament. The GCTU Act was assented to by the President of the Republic of Ghana on August 13, 2020. I'm therefore delighted to inform you that as a result of that, an investiture was done to invest me as the first vice chancellor of this great university on December 18, 2021. I promise to do my best and to serve this great institution with all my strength and with all my heart and to transform and to make this great institution a world-class university of great standard. And I say that before I leave this university, we'll be advertising our institution on CNN and on <laughs> BBC. 
Yeah, because <laughs> very, very soon, the minor infrastructure you're going to, you, you, you see here now is going to be completely transformed into a 6, 8, 12-story environment. <laughs> and the changes will be obvious. Appointment of key officers of the university. I'm glad to inform you that GCTU Council approved of the appointment of a new and a substantive and the first substantive pro vice chancellor, the first substantive registrar, and the first substantive finance director of GCTU to support me in delivering my mandate as a new public university. Today, the three new key officers have joined our university to help us grow to become a world-class university as we aspire to be. They are Professor Robert Ebo Hensen, the Pro Vice Chancellor, <laughs> who started effective May 1st, 2022, and the Registrar, Mr. Emmanuel Beidou, started 1st June, 2022, and Mr. Ernest Yao Ewa Apreku, the Finance Director, who also started 1st June 2022. So now we have the full complement of senior management within the university, and therefore there is no excuse for mediocrity and non-delivery in our mandate to transform this university into a world-class one. Because all these persons that you see are very experienced persons in their own capacity and do qualify and have the rocket state experience to support me in the delivery of my mandate. As part of the university's effort to enhance GCTU students' experience, an industrial liaison office has also been created to bridge the gap between academia and industry, and the office will establish, build, and maintain mutually beneficial relationships with industry players. It will also ensure the provision of industrial attachment for you students before you complete. So the expectation is that all of you will have the opportunity to do internship with the institutions, organizations, and agencies that your services will be required when you complete. And that will provide you with a practical experience before you leave this institution. I'm happy to say that the Industrial Liaison Office has led to the signing of various MOUs with quite a number of institutions in Ghana, and that has made way for available intensive opportunities for our students. So as we speak now, those who that uh, are on vacation, most of them are on internships with various organizations and institutions across the country. GCTU blended learning approach. As a result of the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020, the university adopted the blended learning model that utilizes a combination of online only and online stroke in-person lectures whenever possible for all our courses. In this regard, over 90% of our courses were being offered online during the COVID era. However, this arrangement has changed with a reduction in the COVID cases in Ghana. Currently, we are offering about 80% of our lectures face-to-face -face and with strict adherence to the COVID-19 protocols, whilst only about 20% are being offered online using both synchronous and asynchronous approaches. So as I mentioned, the use of technology is embedded in all our teaching, and whether you are a technology or a STEM-related student or not, our institution is mandated by law to ensure that we embed technology in you as part of your training in this institution. And therefore, you will be taken through quite a number of programs that are technology-oriented to give you all of you basic training in IT and provide you the adequate skills that you add on to the program that you came to this university to pursue. As a student-centered university, 
We always prioritize on the need of our students in everything that we do. To this end, this university has been able to assist students with various financial aid packages. And I encourage you to visit the Office of the Dean of Students to gather more information about scholarship opportunities that are available to them. And every year what we do is that we also get scholarships. We come up with uh, scholarship agencies that open up their platforms for students to apply. And we make this aware or known to students. And we support our students to apply online and ensure that we push to get many scholarships for our students. So if you're a student in need, if I say in need, you know when you are in need. If you are not in need, don't go to the scholarship office. If you are in need and you think you need scholarship or you need some kind of support to help you go through your education within this institution successfully, you can contact the office of the Dean of Students and ask about scholarship opportunities so that when they come, you will be informed to apply accordingly. Our fee payment regime. Upon enrollment at GCTU, you have a commitment to pay your fees in full by yourself or through a sponsor or through a combination of both. You are wholly responsible for your tuition fees once you enroll. Failure to pay fees on time will render you unregistered for the semester. Do well to visit the finance office for more information about GCTU tuition policy. Because within the first year, you are expected to pay your fees in full. And there are some priorities that are given to those who aren't able to pay their fees in full by one reason or the other. And we can give you a special arrangement to pay half during the first semester and pay the other half during the second semester. But you are expected to pay it in full on registration. But the student-centered university we take care of those who are not able to do that and then give them some opportunity to enroll and still be with us as a student. Enforcement of COVID-19 protocols on our campuses. Following the reopening of the University for Academic Activities and the upset of the COVID-19 protocols infection nationwide, management, as you are aware, throughout the nation with government agencies came up with various COVID-19 protocols that will seek to ensure safety of all Ghanaians. And in that regard, this institution also adopted all the protocols and ensure that students, staff, and all the university community adopt and st stick st strictly to the protocols that are defined by the president of Ghana. The president of Ghana just recently sort of eased the mandatory wearing of masks across the nation. But as you are aware, there's a current insurgence of the new virus or the new, new variants of COVID-19 that is emerging. And therefore, all students and staff are being encouraged to adhere to the COVID-19 protocols especially whilst you are on campus and for your lectures and throughout your stay within this un university until you are told to do so in the course of your studies. In this regard, staff and students are advised to follow and adhere to all preventive and precautionary measures on COVID-19 to ensure that the health and safety of all members of the university community and to curb the spread of the COVID-19 virus on all our campuses. We owe this responsibility to ourselves, our families, and other members of the university community. GCTU has four other satellite campuses out of Accra or across the nation. So we have this campus, which is the main campus in Tesano, and we have a minor campus at Abeka, that is for the business school. We have another campus at Nungwa, even though it's not being utilized at the moment, we have a lot of facilities there that 
council is discussing how it's going to be maximized, the potential. Apart from that, we have campuses, which we are transforming into learning centers in Ho, Takradi, Kumase, and Koforidia. And we have students within all these campuses that are manned by our staff at various levels. My advice to you as graduates, to our proud matriculates, you are about to begin a new chapter in your life, one marked by independence and a critical engagement of the mind. Ponder over these questions as you prepare your journey ahead through your education and life on this campus. What will you make of this experience and opportunity as a student of GCTU? How will you grow intellectually and socially? What will you contribute to the academic community? What will you take from it? And what will the future bring to you? I assure you one thing, though, that your education at GCTU will help to define your future. Like many others who preceded you, you will go to the world with a GCTU education to make a difference. The university will give you the tools to reason, to make judgments, to ask tough questions, and to become critical thinkers. If you apply yourself, GCTU will enable you to be the entrepreneur, engineer, business administrator, or the ICT professional you desire to become in the future. GCTU will become the place where your hidden talents will be discovered and your known talents will be fine-tuned so that you become the person who will go out there and to make the nation proud, to uplift the nation and to posit positively impact the entire world with your expertise. With this in mind, my advice to you is simple. Take full advantage of GCTU. Apart from the academics, you should also make an effort to excel in various co-curricular activities of the institution and represent GCTU in all its activities. Let us make our commitment on this day to maintain a friendly and a cordial relationship with each other and make this university proud by being disciplined, punctual, and giving of our best in all fields. We have a platform I've made that, that I completed in 1989, St. Augustine's College. We have a platform that 30 years down the line, 32 or 3 years down the line, we are still friends. I've missed that I completed university somewhere in 1994 with, and we are still friends. Today, you are being matriculated. You must remain as friends, and you must continue to maintain very good relationship with each other so that after school, you will remain as friends and you become networks to each other that you can help and support each other in all your endeavors. Let us make a commitment on this day to maintain a friendly and cordial relationship with each other and to make this university proud by being disciplined, punctual, and giving of our best in all our fields. I look forward to getting to know you in the coming years. Once again, Congratulations for being our student, and you are welcome to GCTU. Thank you very much. Yes, we can do it better than that. Thank you so much, uh, Prof. Vice Chancellor, for those insightful, wonderful, and warm welcome address. I'm pretty sure, matriculates, that you have picked a lot because I have. He says, please, the networking starts here. Let's remain friends even after school. On this note, I would welcome our able registrar to tell us to continue with the program. Thank you. Thank you very much, Acting Director. We've come to the second part of the ceremony, and it's now time to administer the matriculation oath. May I request 
the mat please stand up and may I request you to place your right hand on your chest you mention your name and repeat the words of the oath after me and it is as I said on page 3 of the order of proceedings I Upon becoming a student of Ghana Communication Technology University, do hereby solemnly promise to observe the regulations of the university, to obey the Vice Chancellor, and all to whom my obedience is required. I pledge to study with diligence, seek and speak the truth, conduct myself with integrity and honesty, and promote the good name, image, and mission of the Ghana Communication Technology University. So help me God. Congratulations and sit down. At this stage, I shall call on the representative of the freshmen to deliver their expectations address. We have selected Mr. Justice Frimpong from the Faculty of Computing and Information Studies to deliver the expectations address. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure. Members of the University Council present, the Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Deans of faculty, administrative staff, parents and guardians, members of the press, fellow matriculants, ladies and gentlemen, I deem it an honor to be nominated to give the matriculation address on the expectations of university life on behalf of all freshmen of this noble institution. I believe that most of us have traveled a long journey, yet another is to begin. We are privileged to be in Ghana Communication Technology University, which offers many opportunities to learn and develop our personalities. I am very delighted to express our appreciation to the university for its satisfactory use of modern technology such as online learning platforms and new library with modern resources, using electronic platforms such as Zoom, WhatsApp, Telegram, and other easy platforms for sharing information in the university. In order that we continue enjoying such facilities, we hope the internet connectivity would be further improved. Very limited hostel accommodation has been a major area of concern with a growing population student. Therefore, we would be super excited if that situation is given serious consideration and action is taken to resolve it for us and future students. Fellow matriculants, our primary aim as students 
you would agree is to study and make use of this opportunity. What is expected of us is to stick to our books and avoid acts that will prevent us from our main aim. Germany Kent once said, quote, have an attitude of positive expectation. For that matter, it is with much anticipation that the university will organize seminars that will help to broaden the mental horizon of students. During our stay in this university, we will definitely learn new things and grow older and more responsible. Crossing from secondary to university life, we have gained a level of independence, but we should exercise caution in the way we use this independence. No matter what the circumstances are, let us strive to achieve our individual goals. For our lecturers, we look forward to building a parent-child relationship with you. We pledge to put up our best and give you our maximum attention and cooperation. We would like to use this opportunity to thank our parents and guardians who have sacrificed and invested to bring us this far. Dear parents, we appreciate every effort you have made for us to be here. We promise to do our best not to let you down. In conclusion, I would like to charge you, fellow matriculants, to aspire to realize your visions, meet your goals of learning and endeavor to make a positive impact on our various communities and societies at large. God bless the matricula matriculation class of 2022. God bless GCTU. God bless everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Justice Rimpong. We'll ask Mr. Justice Rimpong to sign the matricula on behalf of all the freshmen of May 2022 cohort. As stated earlier on, the rest of the freshmen will sign the matriculation oath on the third page of the order of proceedings after providing the required information and submit it together with your gown your matriculation gown at the desk. Thank you. Let's, so let's give it to him. So before we have the closing prayer, some few announcements. Thank you very much, Mr. Justice Frimpong, for the address and signing the matricula. On that note, we have come to the end of this morning's matriculation ceremony. On behalf of the management of the Ghana Communication Technology University, let me once again congratulate our freshmen and to thank you all for making time to join us for this ceremony. I shall invite the acting director of university relations to give us some announcements. Thank you. So the first announcement is uh, the order of procession. So we would have the VC, the Pro VC, the registrar process first or recess first. And then the members of council, 
the rest of management mem members, and then we have convocation before you students would follow. The second is refreshment for convocation. Kindly go to the senior members lodge at cafeteria for refreshment. And then to the matriculates, please uh, go to ITSS on the fit and sit for your photographs to be taken for ID cards to be made for you, ITSS. From here, you could ask for the direction. Thank you. Now we invite uh, the school chaplain to lead us in a closing prayer. Thank you. Please, shall we be on our feet as we share a word of prayer? The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, the one who is, the one who was, and the one who is to come, Almighty Father, glory be to your holy name. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration for today's matriculation ceremony. We thank you for our junior members for today. We pray that God Almighty will continue to bless them. We pray that grant your children here the starting grace and the finishing grace in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we have witnessed their matriculation ceremony today, may we witness their graduation ceremony in four years' time in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you not end somewhere along the way in the name of the Lord Jesus. I soak you all in the precious blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May the Lord God Almighty deliver you from evil. May the Lord God Almighty deliver you from untimely death and I pray that may the gracious hand of the almighty God be upon you and I pray that may the God of all grace grant you all more grace multiplication of grace to be studious and serious in your academic work in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ our Father and our God we continue praying for Ghana Communication Technology University we pray for senior management we pray for academic board we pray for convocation we pray for the whole university community we pray that Father make your children perfect and complete in all your will in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus may you deliver us all from every messenger of Satan called COVID-19 and from every demonic attack in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that may Ghana Communication Technology University become a household name in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God Almighty bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. So to the order of photographs, we will have a faculty of computing and information systems taking the photos first, faculty of engineering will come next, and then business school will be taking photographs with management and convocation. Thank you. So, Please, recession. <laughs> 